Hello, now I'm going to talk to you about electronics. Now, electronics is something that I've been doing for many, many years, um, and I have quite a collection of used and new components that I use to make uh, projects. Uh, now, let's start off. Oh, got some transistors here. These are used for switching and amplifying many thousands of them are put inside microchips here we have capacitors now capacitors are used for storing uh, electricity much like a battery but um, shorter term these capacitors come in all sorts of sizes different ratings from small to um, really big how much they can store and the voltage they can withstand different type of capacitor there um, of course yeah. many people know LEDs light emitting diodes which when a current passes through them they light up some of them red, yellow, green, blue, orange almost pinkish some of them some like these can light up one of two different colours or three colours and there's a rectangular type uh, here we have a quartz crystal which is used for timing in digital circuits such as computers uh, oh yes, speaking of um, microchips and get the little thing out this one is a 741, that's an op amp for amplifying. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Just close that up and bring down the next one. Okay, what do we have here? Just undo it with one hand. Ouch. Come on, done. Okay, we have here some high wattage resistors. Now, resistors restrict the flow of current. They're in opposition to current and can be used to limit the current to protect components and for other reasons. These chunky resistors can withstand quite a high um, voltage. There's some more LEDs, they're all different shapes and sizes and colours. Um, yeah. Some more different uh, capacitors, some more transistors, and then these are variable resistors, but the type that you only adjust now and then, so you can get a precise setting, usually operated with a screwdriver, so you can just adjust them when you need to. Some more capacitors for storing electricity and some yet more capacitors these one is going to withstand quite a high voltage often used in um, power supplies right next one just close you up go down okay. next one coming along now what do we have in here Oh yes, now LEDs can be small or very big. This is probably one of the biggest 20 millimeters, isn't that it's huge? Lights up very nice. Um, some more different types of capacitors, these are very good ones, quite expensive. Uh, we have some diodes. Now, diodes allow current to only flow in one direction and that's what LEDs are diodes except that they light up as well got some more um, high wattage resistors here ah what do we have here yes this is a voltage regulator so we can ensure that the voltage to a circuit um, is always within a certain range to protect components for example and lastly in this um, black one let's undo 
Right, we have fuses. I'm sure most people know what fuses are. Some very high voltage diodes like you'd get in power supply. A few more LEDs, all sorts of shapes and sizes. That's like a bar graph display. Some more voltage regulators. Ah, yes. Yeah. Here we have inductors. Now, inductors store energy through a magnetic field. Now, it can also be used um, to filter out um, interference. And of course, if you um, put two inductors together, you make a transformer. Here we have some more capacitors. These are rectangular shaped, ideal for soldering circuit boards. We have some more diodes. Remember, therefore, they are current to flow in only one direction. And lastly, a few more capacitors for storing electricity, like in timer circuits. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a bit about the wonderful world of electronics. Bye.